those are definitely on the radar for sure. Best polo collection is over here. My brother over here, 50-50s clothing. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Happy Sunday guys, happy Sunday guys. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the greatest city in the world, one of the greatest cities in the world, Tokyo. So today is a very special video today guys. I'm pretty much going to be supplementing my outerwear sort of autumn wardrobe. In particular guys, going to be looking for things like Clark's Wallabies, you know, fleece, Patagonia fleece, maybe some vests as well. That type of genre of clothing and I thought what better places to do that, no fooling around to do that in Cool Engine Kitchy Georgie today. Made it to Kichi Georgia guys, as I've stated several times on my channel previously. Probably my favorite, if not one of my favorite places here in Tokyo. Before we get started today guys, I'm gonna get a feed first. And I'm gonna check out a cafe that I've been following on Instagram for ages, but I actually haven't been to before. It's called Cafe 247. Food arrived guys, that's super, super good. Super healthy as well, which I wanted. It's butter chicken, I guess. Some rice. Different other stuff too. I'm looking forward to this one. Ace in the pocket. I pray that it's not a flush, pacing and walking. Just finished guys, that was super 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 good. The owner is super nice as well, the chef. So you guys would have seen I took some footage inside of this yellow plastic bag of the apartment. So that is, that is actually the first shop on today's agenda guys, the apartment. I've talked about them before, I think one of my earlier recent pickups videos. Carhartt, North Face, Nike, Champion, Dickies, Timberland, a lot of the good stuff. So I'm going to go there today, check out some pieces. Finished at the apartment guys, as usual, decent, decent, decent stuff. It's always nice to go there bro, honestly it was great. Nick Mana. Whenever you guys are in Kichi Georgi, to be perfectly honest, not just the vintage shopping, but there's one thing you need to do when you're in Kichi Georgi, that is to check out Skit guys. Again, in my opinion, as I said in one of my other videos, probably one of the best places you can go sneaker shopping in Tokyo, in Japan. Definitely OG for sure. I won't go inside today to be honest, but please check it out. LL Bean flagship right there. I think you've got your Adidas sort of store right here. And as you keep walking down, this is where the magic happens. I've been here before. Santa Monica is here as well. Always has nice stock. And then as you turn left, guys, at the end of the street, you sort of have a ragtag right over there. Keep walking into this street, and this is where everything pretty much is. Amber Line is here. Definitely gonna check that out today. Little Brothers. Always good. You got Safari right here guys. Safari is always decent. The Thrift Tokyo is down there as well. And as you keep walking down guys, New York Joe's, the classic, the OG is here. And one of my all time faves obviously, Flamingo here as well. Then as you keep going down, there's a Starbucks right over there. Inokashira Park is down there as well. Not much luck today guys, I've checked out New York Joe's, I've checked out Flamingo. It's alright, but I haven't really felt anything yet that I really want for autumn. So, I'm gonna check out Amber Lion next, and then I might make my way to CoreNG after that. Alright, so nothing much there in Amber Lion guys, in terms of sort of the stuff I'm looking for. I'm gonna go to CoreNG. See what they have over there today. Not a bad replacement, right? Just better to call NG guys. Running out of sunlight to be honest today. Thought I'd just go straight to the source of where I need to be. I'm gonna check out Whistler today guys and hopefully get some wallabies. There's actually a second part to Whistler guys, which I just discovered the other time I was here. It's crazy, right? They have more sort of clothes up there. Pretty much they have sort of 70s and 90s kind of styling there. The original Whistler, which I always go to, is pretty much only, I think, 40s to 70s type of style in here, and obviously more shoes too, but it's just ridiculous for me. 
probably the best vintage store, workwear store in Tokyo. Alright guys, so I've got a bit of dilemma. Found these bad boys, but I think they were size 28 and a half or 28. I'm gonna try them on, hopefully they fit. These guys fit perfectly, size 27 and a half, US 9. Both same price as well, but we'll see how it goes. Pretty hyped, I really want these shoes, but again, it depends on how they fit. All right guys, I'm gonna come back to Whistler later on. I'm just, I need to make a choice as to what colorway and I want. <laughs> I'm gonna check out some other shops now, get a bit of fleece, get a bit of outerwear, we'll see hopefully. SO Clothing is calling my name. Just got an SO guys, I tried on those Patagonia fleeces. I'm gonna come back again to see if there's anything else I can find, but those are definitely on the radar for sure. Best polo collection is over here. My brother over here, 50 50 used clothing. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> good. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Side 50 50 guys, as you guys can see, the guy that works here is so nice. Every time I come here, you know, he's always boys. But um, yeah, this is the spot. I actually got this from this shop, actually, so. Uh, real decent bro, a lot of just oversized crap here as well, but not nah, decent, decent bro. Find this cable knit on, vintage polo, nice orange color with, don't know, fits pretty good, but what do you guys think? Nick so I've done the rounds guys, finding my way back to Whistler, but before I go back to Whistler, I guess I make my choice. Gonna check out the boys at Shinto. They always got some good stuff in here, so let's see, guys. Ended up picking up that sort of white suede mandarin collar, guys, from Shinto. Very happy with that. 4,900 before tax. Back to the scene of the crime. I have no idea what I'm gonna do here, guys. I really want these wallabies, but I prefer a sort of browner colorway. But the only colorway that is available is the sort of sand, sort of stone colorway. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, 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 okay. Just got out of SO, guys. Success. Ended up picking up the forest green Patagonia fleece. I tried on the black one and the forest green one twice, a couple of times actually. And the main differentiating factor, guys, was the sizing. The forest green was a large. Unfortunately, the black was in a medium and a bit too tight. I really wanted it to be sort of the main kind of how to wear a piece that I was going to wear so I didn't want it to be too too tight have a bit of room as well so got the forest green pretty happy let's go all right guys I'm gonna get a quick coffee first and just charge up my I can't even talk charge up my camera it's a bit low battery right right now as I was saying I'm gonna get a quick coffee guys a bit of a drink take a break charge my stuff let's just make a choice as well whether or not I get these wallabies or not it's a tough choice need a coffee just finished my coffee, did a time, had a bit of time to reflect and I made a decision not to make, get the wallabies today to be honest. I didn't want to force it in terms of not getting the colorway that I really wanted so I'm just going to get some dinner now. I'm pretty happy, got my Patagonia fleece, got a nice mandarin collar as well but obviously I'm disappointed that I didn't get the wallabies also. I'm going to go to Tokyo Station guys, get a bit of dinner. I'm super thirsty guys. Tokyo Station just arrived and I find myself in Tokyo Ramen Street once again. You guys might have seen it in one of my other videos. I went to dinner after work to this place, Rokurinsha. But I actually am not going to have ramen tonight guys. I'm going to have this place right here. One of my favorites. It's pretty much like a mackerel kind of restaurant. Very, very nice. So this is it guys. Got a bit of rice. Got a bit of squid. And this is tofu. Uh, no idea what that is. And you got sort of mackerel, three different ways, three different styles. Of course you got your miso, a bit of veg, and the sort of seaweed kind of sauce, which my, my brother loves as well, so.
Finished my meal, guys. Super satisfying. Definitely one of my favorite. I'd say top 10. Top 10 here in Tokyo for me personally. Gonna head home now. Had a pretty good day, good Sunday as usual. You dig? So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's content. As I always say, guys, to close off my videos, take care, God bless, stay safe, stay positive, continue to celebrate those W's, and I'll see you guys in the next video, eh? Looking forward to it. Peace.